hey guys would you guys believe me if i told you that i have not used any brushes for my foundation routine today because i basically have not used any brushes now all i used are beauty blenders i used three of them because i was just being extra and i have the three but if you have one you can actually just use one and just excuse uh, my blenders they're dirty because i've just you know used them but uh, you can use one beauty blender if that's all you have so if you're using one beauty blender you just be careful how you're using it one side you use for your foundation maybe one side for contouring one side for highlighting so that you don't mix up your shades but otherwise you don't need three or four five beauty blenders you can do with one if that's all you have now this way of putting on foundation is so so affordable because if you compare the cost of buying a beauty blender to the cost of buying brushes because for brushes you're going to need a whole set right but then for the beauty blender you just need the one and I think they go for about 500 bob if I'm not wrong in the market that's how much I bought mine for 500 bob so I think compared to brushes this way is much easier right so for you guys out there who are beginners and have no brushes maybe you could just get a beauty blender and get started you know you guys I got you I got you so if you guys want to know how I did my foundation routine today with no brushes and how you can do it with no brushes and just a beauty blender then keep on watching okay guys so these are the three beauty blenders i'm going to be using for my foundation routine today and my face is clean it's moisturized and primed and ready to go so let's get into it now the first thing i go in with is a concealer this is an illegal pro concealer in orange and i just use it to cover up all the dark spots on my face just so that eventually the skin tone is even now mine comes with an applicator if yours doesn't you can simply use your fingers to put it onto your skin to cover up those dark spots before we go in with our beauty blender to blend it out now once that's done i'm taking the same beauty blender and applying some setting powder on the concealer to set it just so that it stays in place and it doesn't crease Now it's time for foundation. I'm using this um, foundation stick from Black Opal and I'm just applying it all over my face before we get into blending. If you don't have a stick foundation, you can just place the foundation on your face with your fingers and then get into blending. Now I like to use a damp beauty blender for this part because it just makes the blending so much easier. So I dampen it with setting spray or you could also just use plain old water and then blend out that foundation now i've sped up a lot of this part so guys don't get it twisted i really spent a lot of time blending out that foundation so you're going to need to take some time until that foundation is really well blended And now my foundation looks good to go so let's move on to the next step now we go into highlight and contour now I use two shades because one shade is a bit too light I think you guys can see that so I use a darker shade just to tone it down a bit so I start by applying this light one and then I apply the darker one on top to tone it down and I'm just applying this on all the areas where I want to highlight which is basically under my eyes down the bridge of my nose on my forehead on my cupid's bow and on my chin
Now I'm dampening that same beauty blender I used for my foundation and I'm using that to blend out that highlight. Now once that's done, sorry some footage there got deleted but I basically was blending out my highlight. Now I'm using a beauty blender and applying some setting powder over all those areas where I highlighted. I know I look crazy but... <laughs> We're going to have to let this bake for a few minutes and in the meantime we can go ahead and do some contour now i like a really dark contour that's why i'm using quite a dark color and i'm using my finger to put it in all the areas where i usually contour which is basically um in the hollows of my cheeks on my forehead at the edge of my forehead actually and on my jawline And then I'm grabbing a beauty blender which is the order of the day today and I am using that to blend out that contour. Now once all that is blended out, this is the only one part we're going to use a brush. I've tried to find another alternative to using a brush but I've not been able to. So in this entire foundation routine, I'm only using one brush you guys and that's to dust off that setting powder. This is also something you need to be patient with because you can think that your setting powder is not moving but if you're patient with it, eventually it turns down. And then now I'm going in with still a beauty blender and I'm using the bottom of the beauty blender, dipping it in some powder and using that to set the rest of my face. So I'm actually pressing that powder into all the other areas of my face. Next up is blush. Now blush you can apply with your finger. That is no big deal. You just pick up your blush and dab it over your cheeks and drag it up to your ear. And then now I'm grabbing a setting spray just to set everything and bring the whole look together. Now instead of just sitting around waiting for my face to dry, while it's drying I went ahead and applied my lip color or yeah, my lip situation which is this ombre lip and then after that the setting spray is going to have dried and I can move on with my foundation routine. Now when I'm highlighting my face, I like it when it's a bit wet just because the highlight pops a bit more in here. My setting spray had dyed, it died, dried, so I had to add a bit more and then go in with my highlighter. So it's cheekbones, cupid's bow, chin, down the bridge of the nose, inner corners of the eye and that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah!